Hey everyone and welcome back to The Breakdown. Today I'm going to be teaching you how to download and install Doggy Talents in Minecraft 1.16.4. With 1.15, Doggy Talents actually got an update to Doggy Talents 2, which added in a bunch of cool new stuff, including like, you know, the ability to like respawn and link your dogs to dog beds and all that stuff. It is a really, really cool mod. As you can see, it linked them to a dog bed so your dogs can be respawned there because they're no longer immortal. Cool stuff like that. Awesome kind of updates to Doggy Talents. Love to see a mod that's been around for a while getting some updates. As you can see, this launched in 2017. So what is Doggy Talents? Well, it adds in 19 new unique abilities that you can give to your dog. Dog leveling system, systems. You can play fetch. Diable collars. You can care for your dogs with bowls and food bowls and beds and stuff like that. You can track your dogs with radio collars on a radar. It's, it's really, really cool and a really, really cool system. So we're going to show you how to get it today. But before we get into it, we do have a our sponsor, which is Apex Minecraft Host. You can go to the first link down below the breakdown. XYZ slash Apex to start your very own Minecraft server. We actually love and trust Apex so much that we host our own server, play.breakdowncraft.com on them. So if you do want to start your very own server, check out Apex and the first link down below the breakdown. XYZ slash Apex to get your server up and running. Nevertheless, let's go ahead and get Doggy Talents up and running in Minecraft. The first thing you want to do is go to the second link down below. That's going to take you here. This is the official Doggy Talents download page. Come over here to the right-hand side and scroll down until you find the Minecraft 1.16 section. Under that, you see Doggy Talents. If you hover over, it actually says Doggy Talents-1.16.4. So go ahead and click on that purple download button to the right of that there, and it will go ahead and start downloading after a few seconds. And you will need to keep or save this mod depending on your browser. So as you can see, it's downloading in the bottom left, and we need to keep it on Google Chrome. You need to save it in the center of your screen on Mozilla Firefox. Now, we aren't done downloading just yet. We still need to download Forge. Obviously, Forge is needed in order to run Doggy Talents. So to do that, you want to go to the third link down below. That's going to take you here. This is our in-depth tutorial for Forge. But guess what? It's going to show you everything that you need to know when it comes to Forge. But we're going to be showing you kind of the basics of getting Forge. However, if you do need more help, this tutorial right here will give it to you. Once you're here, you're going to go ahead and click on this green Download Forge button. It takes you to Forge's official website where you want to make sure Minecraft 1.16.4 is selected. If it is, it's AMC 1.16.4 there. If it doesn't, click on the left-hand side and click on plus 1.16. Then click on 1.16.4. 1.16.4 will appear there. Then finally, we can come under Download Recommended and click on the Installer button. Then, after a few seconds, Add Focus will open up or stop! Don't click anything on this page. Do not click a single thing on this page whatsoever. Not a single thing whatsoever except that red skip button that just appeared in the top right. It'll take about 10 seconds, but eventually a red skip button will appear in the top right. That is the only thing you want to click on this page. Then in the bottom left, you will have a Forge profile or a Forge version download, right? You want to go ahead and keep that in the bottom left. Save it in the server screen in Mozilla Firefox. It's 100% safe as long as it has Forge in the title. Now, finally, we can go ahead and minimize our browser. And here on our desktop, we do have Doggy Talents and we have Forge. If these are on your desktop, you can go ahead and click on the little windows icon on the top left of my screen, probably at the bottom left of your screen. Click on that little windows icon on the top bottom left of your screen. Type in Downloads, right like so. You know this Download File Folder in Windows. Go ahead and click on that. And then you can drag and drop your Doggy Talents and Forge folder from your Downloads folder into your desktop, right like so. Now we can go ahead and start off by installing Forge. To do that, you want to go ahead and right-click on it. Click on Open With. You should have Java here, but if you don't have Java, what do you do? Well, let's go ahead and fix that by going to the description down below and going to this tutorial on how to download Java for Minecraft mods. Obviously, Doggy Talents is a Minecraft mod, so you want to download this version of Java for it and get it set up and all that stuff. And then, once you've done that, you should be able to open up Forge, but just in case you still can't or... If your Forge and Java files don't look like my Java files, most likely that's going to be due to the jar fix. So go ahead, run the jar fix here. It's going to link all the Java files on your computer to Java once again, kind of link them together right like so. And now we can go ahead and minimize our browser and get Forge installed by right clicking on it, clicking on Open With, clicking on Java, and clicking OK. It's then going to go ahead and open up Mod System Installer for Forge here, where we want to then go ahead and click on Install Client and click OK. Now it's going to install Forge, do everything that it needs to do to get Forge added into Minecraft and get everything up and running and working and just amazing working together. Eventually it will say successfully install Client Profile Forge from 1.16.4. Awesome. We can go ahead and click OK there. Close out of that. Now we can delete Forge from our desktop. If you can't, no worries. You'll be able to do it here in a minute. But nonetheless, let's go ahead and open up the Minecraft launcher, right like so. And before you hit that play button, wait, stop yourself. What you need to do first is make sure you have this Forge profile selected. And now mine is selected here, as you can see, Forge is selected there. And it does say 1.16.4-Forge under it. That means I'm good to click play. However, if you don't have a Forge profile here, or if you do and it doesn't say 1.16.4-Forge under it, well, in that case, what you want to do is go on installations up here at the top, click on this plus new button. You can name this whatever you want, but I'm going to name it play.breakdowncraft.com. Why am I naming it that? Because that is our 
own incredible Minecraft server. We've got 1.16.4 Grief Protected Survival with 30 custom quests and a player base economy. And then on top of that, we do have awesome custom skyblock as well with OP enchantments, amazing custom islands, amazing quest on that as well. It's, it's truly incredible, so come play with us. Play at breakdowncraft.com is the IP. Then we go ahead and click our version drop down box, and we want to find release 1.16.4 Dash Forge. Right here it is, so go ahead and click on that. I'm going to change our resolution to 1920 by 1080, and then we click the green create button in the bottom right. Finally, we have this new played breakdowncraft.com profile. Under it, it says 1.16.4 Dash Forge. Go ahead and hover over that and click on the green play button. You'll then have this pop up come up right like so, where you want to go ahead and click I understand, it's 100% safe, I promise. Then go ahead and click the green play button. It's then going to open up Minecraft, right like so, and once it does, it will load on in. Now, at this point, Doggy Talents isn't installed, but the hard part's over. It's literally dragging and dropping and restarting Minecraft. That's how easy it is to install Doggy Talents at this point. So, I'm going to go ahead and do a quick jump cut. I will meet you on the Minecraft main menu. And here we are on the Minecraft main menu. From here, we want to go ahead and click on the Mods button right here, and then we want to click on Open Mods Folder. Again, that was click on the Mods button, and then click on Open Mods Folder in the bottom left. That'll then open our mods folder, and to install Doggy Talents, all you need to do is drag and drop it from your desktop into this mods folder. It's that simple. Now we come back to Minecraft, it's not here. It's not going to be here until we click Done, and then click on Quick Game. Now, at this point, we want to go ahead and open up the Minecraft launcher again. You don't have to worry about creating a profile, it's already created. So just go ahead and click this little button next to the Play button, select the one that says 1.16.4 Dash Forge under it, and then go ahead and click Play. You won't get warned again or anything, and now Minecraft is going to open up with Doggy Talents. It's that simple to get this mod downloaded and installed. Super quick, super easy, super Super simple to get Doggy Talents downloaded, installed, and set up in Minecraft. As you can see here, we're now loading in, and actually, Doggy Talents was shown there on like the the Minecraft like Forge loader there. You could actually see the Doggy Talents mod, but I missed it, so sorry about that. But nonetheless. Here we are launching right on in, and once we are here, we want to go ahead and click on this Mods button, and then we have Doggy Talents 2, right like so. Looking good. So now we can go ahead and click on Single Player. I'm going to go ahead and create a new world called Doggy Talents, right like so, it's creative, and there we go. So now, once we're in game, I showcase some of the stuff that Doggy Talents has. This is a relatively complicated mod in many ways. There's a lot going on with it, so um, just be prepared for it to, you know, not be a great overview here. I've always said that I'm not the best with doing overviews, but I'm great at teaching people how to install tutorials. So I try my best at overviews and give you an awesome tutorial. That's kind of how that works. But um, yeah, so anyway, we are now loading on in. And then once we are in game, I'll be able to kind of show you some of the stuff that Doggy Talents adds in. As well as, uh, you know, just kind of maybe get started training a dog. We're going to see about that. Could I? Is there a, uh, like a desert? I always like doing these in a desert. I feel like it's open areas like this are nice. Oh, there's a village. What's the seed of this world? Everyone always asks me that. So there's the seed for those of you that might want it. This will work. We can do it right here at this kind of open area at the village. So anyway, if we go ahead and open up Creative, we can see all of the stuff that Doggy Talents adds in, including different dog bed variants. We're going to go ahead and grab this dog bed, and then we're obviously going to need to spawn in some wolves. I actually forgot how to train these, so that's kind of a it's kind of a, a bad thing. I think training treats is what we need, maybe. Um, how do you capture the dog? Which is kind of weird to say. I mean, you need to capture a dog, but that is kind of basically what we're doing. I think Creative Collar might work in this case. Uh, ooh, or do we need a doggy charm? Let's see, all of this can actually be outlined, by the way, and is outlined on uh, on their website. But yeah, come on, come on, create, nope, creative collar, is that how it, nope, nope, training treats, do you want this, is this good? Is this, Mr. Wolf, M Mr. W Mr. Wolf, Mr. Mr. Wolf, how do you train them in normal Minecraft? I've actually forgotten that, is it, you give, a, you give them a bone, right? Let's see, let's see if the, the these bones will work. Hey, hey, hey you, hey, hey you, hey, 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 I know these are the custom bones, but let's see if they'll work, come here. Wait, you want this? Do you, do you want the... No? Okay, let's try, let's try this the normal bones. It's been a while since i played with Doggy Towns. Like I said, I'm not good at this. Not good. Never claimed to be good. Hey, come on. Where, where are you going? Where are you going? Huh? There's some resistance there. There's, they didn't like... They, <laughs> they wanted to, but they were just like, no. There it is. There we go. We've got our, our dog there. And then we have the best friend forever. The achievement. Now we can go ahead and I believe... How do you give him the collar? I am, I am so... Hey, it's leveling up. So we're leveling up now, just spamming leveling up. And then we do have the Doggy Charm, which I don't know what that does. I know nothing about this mod, so now we can go ahead and put the Creative Collar on them. And then, let's see, how do you... I know these like things you can access and do, which is weird. If we go ahead and put the Dog Bed down, how do you link a dog to a dog bed? I don't know any of these things. So shift-click your dog. Shift-click with your dog nearby, and they will come... Oh, what was that? What happened? Oh. We can span infinite dogs. It's because we're in creative. But nevertheless, 
there is how you can get doggy talents set up there's all sorts of different stuff that you can do that i'm not even showcasing here because again i am horrible at showcasing mods it's just like i don't know i'm just i'm just not good at this i'm just not good at this let's see if uh, any of the dogs will go yeah there we go the dogs are going to fetch those bones and bring them back look at that that's really cool <laughs> <laughs> this is like overload. We've got dogs overload just running the ground <laughs> and just like teleporting. <laughs> There's so many that are just teleporting back. That's hilarious. But there you all have it. If you have any questions, let us know in the comment section down below about installing. If you do want to know more about getting this mod, like the in depths of this mod, there is information on the download page here. For example, you can open up this right here alone, right? Be able to actually set up all these different points and use the points and everything. Um, all of that stuff. So, yeah. Overall, it's a really, a really cool mod. I just don't know it that well, and I do apologize for that. But thank you all so, so much for watching. If you enjoyed the video, give it a thumbs up. Subscribe to the channel for more awesome content every single day of the week. My name is Nick. This has been The Breakdown, and I am out. Peace.